You are welcome to this tutorial. My name is Wadim Laolaibola and I am very happy to be making this tutorial to help you uh, create a functional PayPal account that you can use to withdraw money and also send money from anywhere in the world. So without further ado, this is the crux of the matter. How to create a PayPal account in Nigeria to send and receive money. Okay, so who is this for? This tutorial is for you a freelancer who wishes to know how to get your money from your freelancing uh, area. So maybe you are, you are on Fiverr, you are on Upwork or freelancer.com and so on and so forth and you want to be able to receive your money. So this is where it's for you. Also, if you are an affiliate marketer, so this is also for you. Um, if you are an online entrepreneur or a business owner who wishes to do business internationally whereby you can receive your money in hard currency like dollars, pounds like and euro, this is for you. Alright, moving forward. What will you what will you learn inside this tutorial? You will learn how to create a PayPal account, you will learn how to verify your PayPal, your PayPal account, you will learn how to use tags to PayPal account and lastly you will learn how to get tags to pay tags in Nigeria. So without further ado, let's go right Okay. Uh, so the first thing you do is you go to https https slash double slash paypal dot com slash au. Okay, if you go to normal paypal dot com, it takes you to a paypal uh, interface whereby you you, you cannot uh, there's this less you can use. Because the algorithm see that uh, you are using a paper, you are using a, a Nigerian ID, and if you come from a platform a, a, from a country that you know that are under ban with the with the PayPal uh, organization, so this is also going to be useful. Look at this. Go to paper.com for then you see so this is what you are doing. And you see, right? So, personal. There is no business paper that you can open, and these are the limitations that you, that you have. So, how to how paper works? You can pay online, right? You can pay online payment without borders. You can pay online. You can send payment. So, but there is no option for you to do this thing. So, and that is uh, the also that we are about to uh, that's the also we are about to remove for you. Okay, all right. So the next thing that we do is that we go to this uh, link, PayPal.com slash AU. What AU means is that it's Arab Emirates. So since we want to create a PayPal account that will function so that you can engage by PayPal account, right? Okay. So the next thing we do is we click, click on that. Look at this now. Look at this. If you notice before, it only has personal, there's no business and there's no personal and so These are the two that are most important to us. Now, for our personal, you will see that it only has how people will pay online and set payment. It doesn't have get pay before, right? So, with this, you can you know, also get pay. You can also receive PayPal from, from people who want to buy. So, and you can also create a business paper, right? Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to try on this thing, click on this, okay? So instead of using a personal account, a personal account has kept limitation, all right? So there are some, so instead of creating a personal account, the best thing you can do, because you can only talk with this around the world, so there can be limitation, but go for business account. Right, so because there are some you know facts that you get for opening a business account with PayPal, so let's go right click and continue. Okay, all right, so the next thing we do is to input your uh, your email, all right. Okay. 
อันนี้อีกฟิกของฟังที่ฟิกของฟังโพสต์เล่นเยอะโพสต์เยอะฟังโพสต์อันนี้อีกฟิกของฟังที่ so now look at this very well very important that you look at this so lega first name so what is your first name as it appears On your identification, so it's very important. o l a i d e so that's mine. Lega n a e g a last name. o l a i d e last name. Okay. The business details. Lega business name. I'm still going to use o l a i d e So I'm going to be using my so. Instead, when you get to business phone number, you are going to be using your Nigeria phone number. Okay, no problem about that. So just go right there and paste your Nigeria phone number or whatever country you come from. So let's say you are from Uganda or Kenya or any country that is ah to use. Next thing is you input your uh, your your this thing your address right your address exactly that's what you are going to put there so there is no additional information city you can choose your city now as you know you can actually pick any of the uh, Arab Emirates city so let me just pick uh, let me just pick Dhabi. So your primary currency, what is it going to be? So you don't need to, you know, to talk yourself. Just pick uh, U.S. dollar, okay? And then you click on this, agree and continue, and then agree and continue. Awesome. Now they are asking you to describe your business. So uh, describe it as individual. So proprietorship, so product or service keyword. So let me just use marketing, management, consulting, and publishing, right? Let me just click on this. Ah, website is optional. You don't have to put the website, but if you if you have a website, you can do this. So just continue. Here we are going to input your your date of birth, your month, and your year, right? So then nationality, you don't have to lie about it. Just pick Nigeria or whatever country you come from, or whatever country you are watching this from. Identity document. So you are going to use your Nigerian or your country's identity document. Is it national ID card? Is it passport? Is it driver's license? So I'm going to put click on that. So Passport number. I'm going to put this. So home address. You're asking for your home address. If it is the same as your business address, you click on that. So then it will be the same, and then you click on submit. So I'm going to put my passport number here and my date of birth, and then I can click on submit. So awesome, awesome. So if you get to this stage, congratulations. <laughs> Woo! You know, I, I'm so excited for you. Uh, to get to this stage, it means you, you have successfully created your PayPal account. So the next thing that you do is to follow the prompt right here. So just follow the tutorial. So the next thing you do is to uh, okay. So this you have an account for that. When you log into your Gmail address, you will see three email address, three emails that are coming into your email, right? So the first email. Going to be about the what you are seeing on the screen, which is actually not true. So, for the fact that uh, excuse me, so the three emails you receive from PayPal, the first one is going to be we need additional information about your business, which is this. So, when you see the email, so all you have to do is just to click on the complete information now and nothing. So, nothing will be you know. 
so this will be this will leak you won't see it anymore right can you see it's no longer there so if you refresh you no longer there it's there all right so other things you need to do you need to set up set up your paper checkout so how do mean these are the things that these are the important if, if i mean you can go up go, go over these ones yourself however these are the important ones that you need to do so you need to confirm your email address and you click on see details so you will see that they bring you right here and then you can log into your gmail as i am logging in on my phone right now all right so and then you can enter the second email address which is confirm your email so once you click on confirm your email inside the gmail so once you click on confirm email address you confirm it all right and if i should just uh refresh if i should refresh this page now you see that it will be confirmed it will bring confirmed is that thing is here can you see it has been confirmed right now let's go to the home okay so congratulations you have confirmed your email so the next thing you do is to also link and confirm your debit or credit card. Now this is very important and it's where many people encounter problems when creating their PayPal account, right? The reason is that virtually all, in fact, maybe eight percent of all local banks in Nigeria do not, you know, work. They are not compatible with PayPal. So if you try to for it will link them, it will not link. Alright. So there are two things you can do in linking a payment method. You can actually link a credit card. So the second thing you can do is you can link a bank account. Now, if you try your MasterCard, most of the time, like 100 percent of the time, it, they won't work. Your MasterCard, your VAF card, and all that, they won't work. So I will tell you what works now. Okay, so the first thing you do is you link a credit card. So, and what are the cards that I can that you can use? So there are four cards that you can use. Okay, so the first card is from Payoneer. So how do you create create the Payoneer account? Uh, you can create the Payoneer account by going to by going to Payoneer. So once you sign up for Pioneer, so I, I I have already signed up for Pioneer, but you want to like you can sign in, you can log in. So I will just log in. So but I'm not going to it's very easy, it's fairly easy to create a Pioneer account, right? So just like sign in like that. So you just sign up, click on it. So once you sign up and then you can you know just log into your Pioneer account. Okay. So, and unfortunately, for you to have a Pioneer card, you have to have spent 2,000 Naira, received 2,000 dollars in your account. So, before you can request for the Pioneer card, so most of the time, the Pioneer card will go for 50 dollars. So, if you are just starting out, so you cannot use the Pioneer card. However, I encourage you to create a Pioneer account. Why? You should create a Pioneer account because of this. Let me show you. You create a Pioneer account because of this. If you want to link a bank account, for instance. So, if you link all your Nigerian bank accounts, you never be able to... Uh, it, it won't receive it. You can try it, but it won't receive it. However, if you create a Pioneer account successfully, alright, so you can use the dollar account in your Payoneer to log in, all right? So you can use the dollar account. They will create a, a, a an international bank account for you in dollar to write in Payoneer. And you can input those details inside your 
okay, you near. Okay, inside this video and just go like that. So, Alright, so just link it like that. So that is that about this. So, however, for the linking card, I've already shown you that you can use your Pioneer card. However, if you have not yet had your Pioneer card, I mean, you haven't spent up to $2,000. So the next thing you can do is to use so this. The Pioneer card works like 100% of the time. So if you have it, so but if you do not have it, if you are a Nigerian, you can go for UBA prepaid card. So just go to any UBA branch, all right, and tell them that you want to, you want them to give you UBA prepaid card. So a UBA prepaid card mostly, you know, is free as of today. So it will be free. They will give you for free when you request for it. I don't know by tomorrow they might start charging for it, but as of now, the UBA prepaid card is free. So the dollar UBA prepaid card. Just go and request for it. So the next thing you can do is you can actually create uh go to butter.com, flutterwave, okay, and create an account with flutterwave. So you can actually create the butter card. So um because of time, I will not be able to you know share how to create a butter a virtual card butter right now. So but I will create another tutorial so that you can use to you know for the flutter card right so this is how you do it flutter by flutter if you are using your mobile phone so maybe i android or 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 i or iphone or or android you can actually download it right there Butter by Flutter Wave. So, and inside the account, you can create a virtual dollar card. So, once you are done creating this card, this is where you input the details. Let me put one details for you to see. I'm not going to show you the details, but I'm going to just complete it right now. And once I'm done, I will click on link card. However, can you see that the address right here? That's already still one address. However, when you create a a butter a, a dollar card with butter, it comes with its own details. So it is that details that you are going to add with your new address. Okay, not this one. All right. So let me just do that right now. All right, guys. So I observed that after filling the details, uh, PayPal no longer allows that we had, you know. Uh, Butter card to eat, right? So you cannot you know, use butter card because the billing address on your butter card is already there, it's already fixed. So you cannot change it. And I tried to you know create a new address here, but everything is always you know about Dubai. It has to be something about the Arab Emirates. So in any case, the one that we have used, the one that I have used successfully is this only. Paper, Pioneer card, and UBA card. All right, and you can also use your dollar card from your domiciliary account. So if you are in Nigeria, you can create a domiciliary account and request for a dollar, so a dollar card. So they will deduct, they will charge you ten dollar fee for creating a dollar card with your bank. Okay, so the same with this. Once you create a, once you collect your UBA prepay card from the bank, so if you actually fund it with like four or five dollars or ten dollars, so if you don't have a lot of money, you can fund it with five dollars. And the reason for that five dollars is the fact that once you are, when you are about to activate the card, okay, but once you are able to successfully link the card and activate it, so once you are, when you are about to activate it, PayPal will attempt to build that card. To see that if the card is actually working or not, so they will deduct two dollars from that card. So if it works, they will refund the two dollars. So they just want to know if it is operational or not. So guys, so this is your best bet now. Go for UBA prepaid card, right? So because Pioneer card, you will need to generate two thousand dollars. So the last one is 
the domiciliary account. You can create the domiciliary account. So, and then request for a dollar card. So, that is it about this. So, now, how do you now receive your money? How will you be able to, you know, link your card and then receive the money that you are about to receive? Okay, so, this is just link your bank account. Create a pioneer account. All right. So once you create create a pioneer account, it will bring you to this page, okay? And then, so the next thing you do is you link your bank, right? So, and which bank are you going to link? Not your Nigerian bank. So, and you are not going to link your bank through here because if you do, it's going to be asking you to link a bank from UAE, from Arab United Arab Emirates, right? So the bank you are going to link is going to be from the US. So you're asking to link a US bank and that's exactly what you're going to do. Now log into your paper, your payonia account, alright? And for your payonia account, click home, click on this home button. So once you click on that, it will bring you to this interface. Alright, so and then you can just click on this. Alright. So click on receiving account. So when you click on receiving account, it will bring you here. What you think on receiving account? So it's going to bring you here. So these are the banks that I have, so that I can receive uh, money from. So, um, since it's a US account, so I'm going to you are going to click on view details right here. So when you click on view details, it's going to be receiving the money, as in it will show you the details of the bank that you need in your paper account i hope that makes sense so you are going to see the routing number and the account number and then you can link the bank okay so but i'm not going to click on this so that it will show those details right so you are going to click your own and you know do it so so let me go here this is the last page i mean this is the only thing that they receive right now you are creating the Dubai PayPal, so you need the UBA prepaid card. So, most especially because all the address that people is going to be bringing right here is going to be a Dubainian address, right? So, and the only card that they receive that they accept is that UBA prepaid card. So, why not go to your bank tomorrow? So if tomorrow is a working day and request for a UBA prepaid card, it doesn't matter if you are a customer or not. As of today, they can give you this card for free. So, but tomorrow they might ask you to create an account with them. So in order to have a UBA prepaid card, I want to do. So you just you know put it in the details right there, and you are all set. Now, if you want to receive money, okay. So yeah quick links for you so if you want to charge you want to invoice your client you want to collect money from them for what for a service that you have rendered this is what where you go to you want to request for money maybe someone wants to dash you money maybe you have a friend in the other city or they just want to pay you for something you've done for them this is where you go request money you want to send people money so this is where you go to okay so it's, it's simply like requesting money, they will input their email address. You want to request money from someone. So their name or email address, you want to use it to, to open their own paper. And then you click on next. All right. It's as simple as that. You want to send as well, it's the same. You enter your name or your email address and then you click on next. So if you ask you how much you want to send or how much you want to receive, and then you can just follow the prompt. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you gain anything from this video, please, I ask you to please uh, like this video and subscribe below. Thank you so much for watching.